Good morning, everybody. From what we thought was gonna be a very calm travel day, and last night things started to take a turn. So long story short, we were supposed to be on a flight already today, but it got canceled last night around 8 p.m. So we spent the night trying to figure out how we're gonna get to Montana. We finally found a way that involved a two hour, two and a half hour drive to Columbus, Ohio. Um, and then we were able to get on a flight there is what the airport said. But now, as you can see, there's a semi blizzard or what we would consider a blizzard in West Virginia going on right now. Um, <laughs> and we're supposed to be driving to Ohio and we're going to pick up a rental car and we're hopefully gonna get on the road and hopefully be able to make it. What do you think? Yeah, sorry I'm not uh, talking a lot or paying a lot of attention to the vlog because uh, right now the roads are less than ideal. So this is gonna be an interesting day to say the least, but I think we can do it. What do you think of the snow? Yeah. <laughs> it's good because you like to eat it, but it's bad because we have to drive in it. I realized I didn't explain why we're getting a rental car, and the reason is because even though we're flying out of Columbus to get to Montana, we're still flying back into Charleston to get home in a week. So we don't want to drive up to Columbus and then our car's up there. This was actually our first canceled flight in all of our times of travel and everything's gonna be fine. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. I got more, more snow, more snow. I got more snow, girl, mm -hmm. it's snowing like crazy right now. So I have an idea. If what? we get stuck in the snow on the way up to Columbus, baby girl, you can just get out and eat the snow in front of the car and we can just drive as you eat the snow. What do you think? Yeah, that's a good idea. You'll be our little snow plow. Only the best for my family. Oh, well, you know, just an expedition. Ooh, that's yeah. fancy. So now I gotta find it though. Come okay. on, I know how to find it. Oh yeah, you hear that? What do you see when I pull around in? Daddy got us a really big car to drive to Columbus. He's gonna drive it around so we can see. Huh? <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Would you ladies like a ride to the airport? Yes. I said I need something safe for my family because I have two princesses that I am transporting to Columbus. They gave me this bad boy right here. It looks so nice. It's really nice. I might keep it. <laughs> How was your ride home? I think it's pretty nice. Is it? Is it super nice? It's pretty nice. I wouldn't pay whatever it is. I'm sure 80, 90, 100 grand for it. I wouldn't pay that, but panorama, panorama sunroof. <laughs> and I noticed something else. The steering wheel was even heated. So it's pretty nice, but. Uh, is it be, nice though? It's pretty nice. Like did I tell you, if I haven't told you yet, guys, it's pretty nice. Before I zip up all of our luggage, I'm going to show you guys how we packed for this trip in just three carry-ons, one for each of us. And if we were not content creators, there'd only be two because this whole bag right here is just for electronics, the drone, the tripod, all the filming stuff. Um, and then we have our two suitcases. So in case you're wondering who's the most high maintenance, John has his own suitcase and Tiana and I share. John does have all of our toiletries. So we have this suitcase here, that's Tiana and I stuff, all of our clothes, all of our like snow gear in the back. And then that's it. What do you think? Well, you do have one more bag. You got oh, your little yeah. backpack just okay. for like keeping stuff out on the plane, right? We also have a snack bag for the car. Um, mangoes, nuts. Guys, ever since we went to Thailand, Jerky. I've become obsessed with dried mango. And then we have sandwich stuff, fruit, and then Tiana's lunch. She doesn't know yet. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Surprise. Ma'am? Ma'am? Look what you got. You got strawberries and blueberries. You love it? Oh, she loved it. Good for her. Yeah, so we do have lounge access at the airport. <laughs> she saw it. Oh my goodness! You okay? Yeah. Give me your hand. Oh, baby. Sister! She got so excited sister. she fell down. This is for your lunch, okay? No, I eat it! <laughs> it's for lunch. Maybe she can have one piece right now because she's so cute. Okay, and we do have lounge access, but they don't have like a lot of really healthy food. And 
<laughs> we're trying to be more health conscious when we're traveling. I don't mean to interrupt you, babe, but it's kind of snowing and we're kind of just lollygagging. Oh, yeah. Um, let's go. You ready? <laughs> yes. All right, it's time. A little bit of weather and a canceled flight can't hold us down. I'm so excited for you guys to see the inside of this car. You guys know we drive like a 15 year old SUV, so anytime we get something new, it's like really special for us. <sighs> That was easy. Okay. Why am I breathing hard? <laughs> oh yeah, my expedition keys. It's highly advised guys in the 28 degree weather or whatever it is right now to wear a coat. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't even have to touch it. I'm fancy. Why is it sunny now? Whoa, oh. look at this. My shoes. Wow, it looks like a limousine. What do you think of this car? Cold, cold. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah! Why are you doing that to me? <laughs> Did you put your hands down mommy's shirt? Yes, so I God, say no. A prankster just like daddy. <laughs> oh no, wait, I did your seatbelt wrong. What? Oh it's no. Twisted. There, okay. <sighs> Wow. Isn't it nice? It's Check so out nice. touch screen. Already got your heated seat blasting. Um, for a second, can we talk about how it was just a blizzard and we rushed to get the rental car and everything and now it's completely sunny. All right, well, let's take advantage it's good of that news, though. and get on the road. We have made it a little more than halfway. We are taking a coffee break, but the weather has taken a drastic turn for the better. Is that not I'm crazy? just impressed that you guys made it almost halfway without a stop. So I figured out what my wife does. She says she has to pee, but she doesn't Google or map out a restroom. Instead, she maps out coffee. And then there just happens to be a coffee shop where she has to pee. It's genius. Yeah. Oh, uh, you have to pee too? Uh-huh. Do you want a kid's coffee? Yes. <laughs> so we have been loving this car so far. It has been so nice and there's no snow on the ground. Usually the further north you go, the worse it gets. It's getting better as we go north. I like um, how we rushed around all morning oh, and grabbed crazy, the rental car. Because it was pouring snow and we were like, if we yeah. don't get out of town in time, we might not be able to go at all. And literally by the time we went to load the car up uh, with mm -hmm. the luggage, the sun came out. It was nuts. And the snow wasn't even on the forecast. So that's why we were extra surprised. But and now we're in Columbus like four hours early. <laughs> yeah, we're almost to Columbus. We're going to try out this Oasis coffee shop, get some coffees. Just like that, we're back on the road. I got a sugar-free cinnamon brown sugar latte. John, what'd you get? Iced coffee, I guess? <laughs> I don't know. John got iced coffee with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla, and Tiana got a little bag of barbecue chips, her favorite. I like when we get to try out local little coffee shops like that. I know that Starbucks and Dunkin' are way more convenient sometimes, but this place was called Oasis Coffee Shop. And not only is their coffee really good, but their customer service was even better. They treated Tiana like a little princess, just like everybody does, but they got her gumballs out of the machine because the machine wasn't working. They gave her like a free rubber ducky and the indoor customer bathroom was broken and they overheard us saying Tiana need to use the bathroom and they're like, come here, sweetie. And they took her in the back and let her use the employee bathroom. So they were super nice to Tiana and sometimes customer service goes a long way. So it was really nice. So if you're ever in the area, give Oasis Coffee Shop a try. Really good coffee. And now we have about 38 minutes left until we get to Columbus Airport. We're gonna be early, so hopefully there's no hiccups and we're ready to get on that plane and go to Montana. I don't know, I'm kinda of like in this car. You just wanna to drive to Montana? <laughs> I know, it is really nice. I need the wallet. Why? Because while I do like this car a lot, I see over here that it only gets 18 miles per gallon. Ooh. So I'm a little bit worried how much it's gonna cost to uh, get this thing back to full. All right, before I uh, fill it up, we're about halfway empty. How much to get it back to full, any guesses? 
$37. I think it's going to be more like $48. Oh, I know, I know. What's your guess? Uh, like, like $500. $500? Oh, no. oh, uh, no. I, I, I got a better guess. What's your better guess? Uh, $1,200. $1,200. <laughs> she might be right. That's the hood. Parking, right? You probably just touch it. Touch what? The gas thing. You're so smart. <laughs> so it looks like it doesn't even have a gas cap. It just call, it's called Easy Fuel and you just put it in there, I guess? Oh, that's nice. I am not gonna stand out here, guys, because it is 18 degrees with a negative two wind chill. So I am gonna go wait in the car. <sighs> and it's unbearable. I can't take it. Feels good in here. I bet. We got a, a soy sauce accident here on Tiana's book bag. Clearly he's gonna be Is that okay. what you sat in? Um, no, I thought I sat in it, but I just sat in something else. <laughs> But um, the sushi came in clutch though for lunch on the go. Living life back there. All right, what'd you guess? 37. And I guess like 47 or 48? And Tiana guessed 1200. $1,200. Oh, wait, huh. I, 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 I didn't guess again. You got another guess, okay. Um, 300 dollars. 300, that's a pretty good guess. Oh, of course, Rihanna was the closest. $33, not that bad actually. You win. Window. Tiana, you were close though. You said $300, it was $30. So you had the three right. Come on, guys, I like to catch. Girl, uh -huh. how did you get up there again? <laughs> Why does it look like she's carrying enough stuff for a small army? <laughs> yeah, you look like it. We are finally in an airport. It is 337. Our flight is supposed to take off at 427. Um, so everything is looking good. Everything looks on time. And now I feel confident saying we are gonna make it to Montana today. But I wanted to take a second to tell you about our favorite new travel tool because this thing is so cool. It's the Jarvison Translator 2 and it has the ability to translate conversations between people. So even if you don't speak the same language in real time, you can translate what you're saying and talk back and forth. I'm going to do a little example for you guys really fast because I speak some Spanish. So pretend that I'm talking to somebody who speaks Spanish. There's actually a lot of history on here because Tiana, John, and I have been playing with it. We all want to learn Spanish or another language and Tiana has been talking to it, hearing it back in Spanish and kind of having conversations with herself. So that's been really fun. But here I go, I'm going to do a very basic hello introduction. Hello, my name is Rihanna Scholler. Hola. Mi nombre es Rihanna Scaler. What is your name? ¿Cómo te llamas? Now I'm going to do the Spanish speaking back so you can see how it works two ways. Me llamo John. My name is John. So you can see how that makes it super easy to have a conversation back and forth with somebody. And it makes it personal because it feels like the voice is coming from here and you're not just reading back and forth. It can translate voice from 108 languages, but it can also translate photos, which is super important when you're traveling and needing to read signs and descriptions and things like that. So it can translate photos for up to 50 different languages. My favorite things about the Jarvison translator are that it's lightweight and portable. The battery lasts a long time. It comes with two years of free global connectivity. You don't have to worry about service like you do with the cell phone. This will always be connected and helping you translate conversations. And I know we're just going to Montana right now, so another language isn't really an issue, but we wanted to practice with it and get used to using it because we are going out of the country again in March. And we plan to use this to make new friends and talk to people we meet. So whether you're a business traveler or a leisure traveler like us, or you just want to communicate with people in your community that don't speak the same language as you, you need the Jarvison 2 translator. It's amazing. I'm super excited to use it on our next international trip or our next encounter where we have a language barrier. It is definitely an essential in our travel pack now. And on that note, I think it is almost time for us to board. I'm gonna go wait by the gate with John and Tiana and eat my sandwich that I packed this morning because I am a prepared person on this trip. Our seat 
seats got split up from John. And we're finally on the flight, about to take off. We were sitting here and I was kind of wondering what was taking so long and I just got a text message that our flight is delayed to avoid weather and it's only by like 33 minutes so it's not Thank a you. big deal. Here's to hoping that we do take off in 30 minutes because we have a short layover in Denver. Um, so if we don't take off in 30 minutes we might not make our connection. <laughs> Hey, baby. Sorry we couldn't sit together. She said, I don't like flying without my daddy. It's not fun. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know they were going to sit me so far away. Missed we're together you. in the next one. All right, good. You ready? We only have 10 minutes. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Tiana Haven. <laughs> <laughs> B44, almost there. We made it to our gate. Our flight to Montana is not delayed and we had no minutes to spare because they are already boarding. We had no time to get any food, but at least I have a bag of snacks. Guys, they had voodoo donuts here. It's all vegan donuts. We saw them. And caribou coffee. I know. Gosh, should we miss our flight just to get... Absolutely <laughs> not. I have a bag of snacks. How come nobody wants my snacks? I ate some of the mangoes. Yeah, me too. One more flight, baby girl. We got this? I got a hot Fist bump. Cheers. Boom. Cheers. Cheers. All uh, right, let's get to Montana. Also, it's zero degrees here in Denver. High five. It's one degree. Okay, it's one degree with a wind chill of negative eight oh, at this airport. Hands. It's so busy. Do all hands oh, okay. Right, on three, go. Da, 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 da. Watch, watch. On three, go. One, One two, two, three, go. go. I, I got my dick. What's your idea? Our hand, our secret handshake. Okay. One, One two. One, two. Howie. Oh, sorry. Let me. <laughs> mommy. Oh, mommy. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's try again. What my mommy One more time. One, two. One, two. Two, three, three. Oh, we're going to miss our flight. <laughs> oh, yeah, we better go. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, Wilkie. Get, Get back here. Skrrr. <laughs> Skrrr. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Whoa! You want to see some cool lights? Yeah. Look at this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Turn on all the lights. Daddy. Isn't that really cool? Look at all the buttons. Whoa! Like a Christmas tree. This is like the gas pedal on your car. So you push this up. When you want to go faster, pull it back and go slower. Yeah, this is what flies. So you want to turn right. Uh, this way, to your left, go this way. You want to go up, pull back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, she's asking a lot of questions. No, you're good. <laughs> Got it. Oh, you're going to draw? Are you going to fly? Do it. Go ahead. Pull it. There you go. Now push forward. That makes the nose go down. Whoa. You're so, a pilot, baby. So when we land, we come in. Try to make it to where just before you run the runway, you just pull back and make a nice smooth landing. But sometimes you do it to the little off and it goes. <laughs> oh my gosh! In the water? In the water? No, hopefully not. <laughs> do you want to give him a high five? Yes, high five. All right. <laughs> So we're finally on the plane and they actually let Tiana go up inside of the cockpit with the pilots or with a pilot. Um, and she got to use all the buttons and push the buttons and she was rocking the, what is that thing called? The steering wheel? Yeah, the steering handle or something. I don't know, we're not pilots, so Tiana is. But she was like pushing it too far and the buzzer started going off and he's like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> so hopefully we make it to Montana, okay? But she loved it, she thought it was so cool. Baby girl, 
Did you fly the plane? Yeah, I did. Uh -oh, you have boo-boo on your head. You have boo-boo. Yeah, I have one of the Why do I get that on my head? Hey, you have boo-boo. It's not a Band-Aid. Yes, it is. No. What do you want to be when you grow up now? Uh, a pilot. Now she wants to be a pilot. That was really cool, though. That was actually my first time up there as well. I used her as an excuse to get closer. I know. I couldn't even get in there. <laughs> he was telling her everything, and she was asking questions, and it was really cute. So in the spirit of this trip, we are delayed a little bit more, but we don't mind because we're on our final plane. We have a bag of snacks. Tiana got to see the cockpit for the first time. And they're just holding this plane because other planes landed late and those people need to come get on here with us. Like, as you can see, it's super empty, but it's actually supposed to be a booked flight. So, so we are about two and a half hours from making it to our final destination. So the airport's actually so busy because I think this is some of the most canceled flights in history. Yes. Not the most, but one of the most, which is pretty crazy. They said over 2,000 flights have been canceled in the past 48 hours. Um, and that's insane. The flight attendant said it's been really crazy. Also, want to know what I'm I kinda said? I'm kind of mad. I'm kind of mad. Kind of mad. Why? Because they're holding the flight and we could have got voodoo donuts. We could have. But you want to know what I learned what? when I was at the bathroom earlier? What? Okay, so... You remember how that door flew off the plane of the Alaskan plane? Mm -hmm. So they actually had to ground all of those same models of planes to check them all. So that's why also things are delayed. You're just a wealth of information. Yeah, I made friends with flight attendants and so did Tiana. Tiana's busy working. She's doing very important work like her daddy. We made it to Calypso. Montana and it is negative 14 degrees. We are in what I was told is the oldest hurts. Um, so we're in like a trailer next to the airport trying to get our rental car. Um, and so far it's been an experience. So Tiana's happy. She said that it's not cold at all. And John's waiting in line and my nose is frozen. Are you cold? Nope. Do you think it's cold here? Nope. Oh, my hat. Your hat's keeping you warm? Good. My island cutters. Well, I have any pens? Yes, I do. Where? Right in that front pocket where you got the notebook. It's 9.40 Montana time, which is 11.40 hour time. So, feeling a little bit tired, ready to get to the hotel. Why? Oh, okay. I didn't know if you uh, had the upgrade. <sighs> we made it to our rental car, which is outside. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it is negative 13 degrees outside. The wind chill is negative 21. This is the coldest We're weather we've ever been in. Oh my, the car won't even run the uh, temperature. It Why do you have the run. AC on? Oh, th are you hot? I'm hot. I'm burning <laughs> up. It is so cold that it almost doesn't even feel cold. What do you think, Tiana? <laughs> <laughs> Get on your nose. Come here. Come here. I'm so cold. I know. I'm not so cold. All right, we're about 15 or 20 minutes away from the hotel, but he said we have to let the car warm up first. Oh my that was gosh. the most interesting car rental experience. That guy was really uh, he sweet, called, though. He kept calling himself the old duffer. <laughs> and I'm not sure if he was telling the truth or not, but he said this is the oldest Hertz in the United States, and his dad started it. I'm going to assume that his dad did not start Hertz, <laughs> but, but this, is, this is what he said. And he said he knows everybody in this entire town. Well, he said we're going to move here because once we experience it, we'll have to stay. Oh, so. yeah. I'm loving it so far. <laughs> he was really sweet, though, He John. was nice. Do you want to go to the hotel, <laughs> you poor little thing? All right. It is getting a little bit warmer. Anyway, in case you guys were wondering, um, this trip was my idea because yeah. I've always wanted to come to Montana ever since I was, like, a kid. One, two, three, adventure. No, thanks. Ready? No, thank you, Mommy. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you going to do it? Adventure on three, ready? One, One two, two, three, adventure! adventure! Woo! Let's go! We have made it to our hotel for the night. We're actually only here for one night and then we're going somewhere else tomorrow. We did find some dinner in the hotel lobby. Um, and 
water. Uh, John's over it. And once we got in the car and it warmed up, it was not that bad. Don't you agree? Once it was warm? Yes, after we got warm, it was better. But then we had to get out again to check into the hotel and it was freezing again. It is really cold here. It is very cold and I'm going to show you, this has been a bizarre experience. I'm going to go outside the door and show you like what's going on, the situation next to our hotel room. I had to come all the way out to give you the full effect, but this is the hallway we walked down to find our room. Oh, do that again. Look at you. And this is going on here. It's super loud and awkward. And our room is right here, right next to this. I'm going to peek over and see if I can see anything. Oh no, it's like really taped. Anyway, obviously that's just some sort of construction or something, but it was kind of funny to like walk up to that when we were trying to come to our is. room. You do? Usually that's what happens when there's like water damage. So that you hear all those machines? Yeah. They're drying the floors. Oh. And that's, and did you peek behind it? No, it was all taped. I tried yeah, to Yeah, I kind of took it to the side a little bit. All the carpets pulled up in the hallway. Oh, so that stinks. Must have been like a leak upstairs or on the roof or something. So now they're have a team come in and try to dry out the floors. I think an alien experiment is a more fun idea. Hey, where we just landed, maybe. <laughs> so we are gonna crash for the night. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning. Um, we're happy to be here. Well, I'm so we're tired warm. because it's 11 o'clock here, but it's 1 a.m. back home. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yes. I'm tired too, so we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful cold day here in Montana. Um, I'm about to venture outside for the first time. John and Tiana are already out there. It was negative 22 degrees last night and it's still like negative 16. Holy, it's a bit cold. Oh my gosh, they're over there in a snow pile. Come on, mama. She's rolling down the hill in the snow. You would think it was like 60 and sunny out here. She doesn't care. This girl will not get out of the snow. Get your butt down here. After coffee, we went swimming in the pool and hot tub at the hotel. It was really fun and a nice way to warm up. You guys stand in the snow, okay? okay. You sure? Yeah. All right, let's go. Mommy's turn. No, thank you. Yes. Fine, fine, here you go. All right. Mommy's turn. I just the ball. Yeah. All right, go, 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 go. Yeah. Now she's asleep, but we're actually at a restaurant. We came for pizza and we're waiting to check into our next accommodation. I'm so excited for where we're going next because last night was the one night thing at the hotel, but I'm even more excited for this pizza because it's delicious. Almost time. 
Nothing a little weather. What? <laughs> Can I try? She said no. 